Good morning, Headmaster Chang, dear staff members and young gentlemen of GBS. It's good to see you all once again, although this time we are through technology, we are through the internet to meet you all in this morning assembly. A special warm welcome to all our Grade 7 boys as well as all our staff members. May God bless you all in this diocesan community. Let us begin by having a short prayer. Let us pray. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this morning. Thank you, even we can't come back to school hall, still we can have our assembly together online. May your Holy Spirit come upon us through the lyrics of the songs, hymns, through the Bible reading, and through the sharing of our chaplain. God be with us. We thank you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Bible reading is taken from St. Matthew chapter 5, verse 13 to 16. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt lost its saltiness, how can you be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything, except to be thrown out and trampled by men. You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a boat. Instead, they put it on the stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your lights shine before men, that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. Here's the end of the Bible reading. Good morning once again. Facial masks are put on for most Hong Kong people during this difficult and trying time of COVID-19 pandemic throughout the world. These masks made it difficult for us to recognize our friends, teachers, and fellow schoolmates because half of our faces are covered up and we can literally only see the eyes of the people appearing in front of us. Last Monday, after having breakfast in a Hong Kong-style cafe, I came across a parishioner of Holy Trinity Cathedral. Since both of us were putting on masks, I could not recognize her at first sight. Fortunately, she could see my eyes and know that it's me, and we greeted one another before she went on to work. It is hard to recognize someone behind a mask, 
even if you do not need to put on a mask. Sometimes it is not easy to figure out the true personality or real character of a person. For Christians, it can be very difficult to determine what a real Christian looks or acts like. This morning, when we listen to Matthew's Gospel, Jesus gives us a clear call for our lives. We are called to be the salt and light of the world. It is as if God is saying, Plan A is for you, my followers, to go into the world, to be salt and light of the world. Attract people with your faithfulness, with your goodness, and with your commitment to me. Follow me, and I will make you attractive to people. And by the way, dear young gentlemen and staff members, there is no plan B. Only one plan is available. That is, to be the salt and light of the world. We have been entrusted by God to go into the world, to take the message of Jesus Christ into our homes, communities, our workplaces, our school, with friends, and we are to help lead others to know who Jesus is. As a young gentleman of DBS, the task entrusted to us requires us to be kind, joyful, friendly, and patient. There is nothing more exciting and joyful than to know you are used by God to bring His message of grace, hope, forgiveness, and eternal life to everyone who needs to receive the love of Christ. Swords and light may not sound like a great strategy for reaching the world, definitely not as good as performing a miracle. But we must understand how Jesus was using salt and light as metaphors. One thing that salt and light have in common is that they have a radical influence on whatever matter they encounter. That is the important thing. And on this diocesan hill and in our homes, we need to be good and polite and gentle to everyone we encounter with, so as to be the salt and light of the world. Notice that when Jesus said we are the salt of the earth and the light of the world, he was not making a suggestion. They are stated as requirements, as instructions. Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth and you are the light of the world. No ifs, no ands, or no buts about it. Jesus doesn't say you are like salt or that we will be light of the world at some time in the future. No. He said, we are these things. This is a major part of our calling. It is our purpose as his disciples. It is who we are and why we live in this world. Once we accept Jesus into our lives, we are automatically tasked with the functioning as the salt and the light of the world. On this first Monday of the new academic year, dear young gentlemen and staff members of DBS, may I challenge you to reflect on this theme of being the salt and being the light of the world. How good, how polite, and how gentle can we be so as to abide by this requirement by Jesus? Besides behaving well in the school campus, how should we perform in our homes and other settings in our lives? Are we confident to say that whoever we get contact with, we can behave well to them as the salt and the lights do? With a successful start, I am confident that young gentlemen and staff members can be well and follow what Jesus has instructed us to do. May God bless each one of us in this whole academic year of 2020 to 2021. And I look forward to meeting you all in person when the pandemic is relieved in the very near future. God bless you all. Amen. So before we end with our assembly, let us pray and receive the blessings. Almighty God, from whom all thoughts of truth and peace proceed, 
kindle in the hearts of all men the true love of peace, and guide with your pure and peaceable wisdom those who take counsel for the nations of the earth, that in tranquility your kingdom may go forward, until the earth is filled with the knowledge of your love. And may the blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>